Okay, well, Boma was kind of, it was, it was concocted by Stuart Semple, who's a, he's an artist, but he's a, he works in kind of social activism and he works in uh, community work and, and a lot of stuff to do with uh, accessibility. So the vision really from the very beginning, I think, and the reason he asked me to get involved was um, because I think we share um, this vision, which is very much about kind of giving access to art to as many people as possible, because that is a problem. Um, and also giving, I'm, I'm very much on the, the other side of giving access to art for, uh, for people working within the arts as well, because I think there is a certain level of ignorance of large parts of, of the world and the world's art and the world's history and the world's culture um, that's been driven by our kind of bricks and mortar um, museum uh, and gallery. Uh, kind of uh, structure that we have at the moment. So basically this seemed like a really amazing way to start to play with and um, expand upon the idea of what a museum is and what it can be and perhaps what it should be. Um, so yeah, so that's where we started from. It is an architect design building and I think it is quite important to keep, to root the experience in the real. I have seen um, online arts spaces that where everything is very digital. So you, you feel you can't hold on to anything, um, which is a kind of a problem. We wanted it to be as physical an experience as possible. So it was like visiting a museum. It's it, giving people that kind of experience is important. On the flip side of that, um, I think the kind of the the treatment of the museum space as a kind of a monument is something that we're seeing is a problem. Um, it's this kind of the 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 notion. I mean, there is an argument going on. I know at the moment with you know within Icon and all of these big international conversations about what what a museum actually should be and what it should look like. Is it about preservation of culture of the past, or is it about you know culture is a living breathing organism that we should feed and and uh, and maintain i'm more on the on the latter side i think the former is important too but i think uh, what boma can do is much more on the latter side we can we can be we can listen we can change things the the wonderful thing about the museum space and it has been a uh, quite a thought experiment is that it's not a real space so none of the physical restrictions and restraints of a museum exist. Uh, and I think that the fact that we've got a museum that we can change, we could literally change the entire museum. I mean, when, when I started, the museum was based in a, in a desert. And then I think we went through, it was sitting on the edge of a cliff at one point, and now it's by a lake. The thing is, we can change this. What we have done is we've broken down the barriers so you don't, because it's not a real space, you, you can just teleport anywhere. You pull up a map and then click on it and you can arrive wherever you want to in the museum. If you don't want to walk across the space, you don't have to, because <laughs> that could get quite tiresome. I mean, I don't play computer games. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people that do and the guys who designed it, you know, they work on the very high end games like you know red dead redemption and all of these things that we all we all know um so they're much more used to that environment and that being a kind of a game environment and that's what you do but i'm like well you know if i don't want to walk down the bloody corridor then then i'm, I'm i want to skip it and you can do that you can just get to the art if that's what you want to do um at the moment you download voma for free and you can well, the, it, the interesting thing is, and we could get onto image rights later, is that the images aren't downloaded. The images stay on the server online. So they, that's, it's basically a website that you're viewing through this 3D environment. You download the museum physically itself. Um, essentially what you can, you can see, you can toggle on and off footprint. So you can see if there are other people in the space. I mean, it might be, it looks like we're gonna have about 10,000 people for the opening. So it's gonna be a busy room. But um, you can, so you can turn that on and off. You can have it so that people can chat to you. So essentially they click on your footprint and they can just, it opens up a little chat box and you can have a little chat. 
Um, I think the, the interactivity is really key. I think what we really want to do is, is give a sense of ownership back to the visitor. Um, that's, I think, what scares people away from museums a lot. Um, it, it still scares me away from you know, galleries and museums. I, I don't always enjoy the experience because I don't feel welcome and I don't feel heard and I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel smart enough and I, I think um, in order for the museum, the idea of the museum to develop and for that conversation to develop at least, we need to be listening a bit more and, and uh, having a two-way conversation. And I think the corona thing has, it's actually incredibly well-timed in a way because I think the idea of a digital museum even a year ago would have been a little bit outlandish. But now, you know, since March, we've seen, you know, the first thing to happen was that Art Basel in Hong Kong was cancelled. <clears throat> so we didn't, we didn't go there. I always go to Hong Kong. Um, we didn't do that. And they had to quickly hurry through their, um, their online viewing room experience so as, a, as a, you know, a substitute, um, which everyone thought would be a terrible idea, but actually has played out across all of the art fairs. And... I think, you know, the timing of this is interesting, but it has raised the, the, it's raised the fact that this, this can be done online. You can enjoy culture online. Um, and you're not going to put that back in the box. You know, that's staying with us now. So I think we are having, there, there has been a, a gear change which is really, and it's playing out now, and this will be playing out for a long time. And I'm really hoping, we're all on the team, we're all hoping that VOMA can be central to that conversation and, and can host that conversation. The hope is that we're gonna be able to serve anyone wherever they want to see it. Um, question of that is, of course, you know, the internet isn't completely democratic, you know, you do have different tiers of internet. You, know, you have the first world internet and then you have the third world internet and we want it to work on all of those things because we need to be hearing from people all over the world and we need this work to be getting to people all over the world in a way that art really hasn't. 